everybody, it's me, Kai, man. If you have been paying attention, you know that I've been really thinking a lot about forgiveness and healing and growth and um, evolution, us evolving to a different state of mind. Well, the reason why I've been thinking about forgiveness is because we all need it. We all have done some things to, you know, someone else. We've done things to ourselves. We need to forgive ourselves for. And so when we think about forgiveness, there's this whole thing of having to have empathy, not only for the person who was hurt, but for the person who did the hurting thing as well. And so we wonder, we when we when we wonder about what it looks like to forgive someone, a lot of people can't imagine it because they don't take their mind to a different place. And which means when I, what I mean when I say that is that when a person has hurt you, they have been hurt. And there's some things in their lives that have happened to them. And if we can kind of get to that place of understanding some things that have happened to them, then maybe we can understand why it happened to us. But off of that, what does guilt and shame look like? And how long should a person carry guilt and shame after they've done something to us? Is it healthy to carry guilt and shame? And I really want us to really think about these things. A lot of times when people have moved on past things that they've done to us, it doesn't mean that they, you know, that they, um, have forgotten what they've done to us, it's that for a mental healthy space, they might have to do that for themselves. Um, and hopefully, you know, for you, you have to do that as well to continue to move on from what it is that you believe. But how long and what does that look like? You know, if you want a person to hold guilt and shame for a long time because maybe you're angry about it and you still want them to pay for it, so to speak, what is it that they should be doing? Should they be... Um, inside the house should they be sad should they what what does that look like what is it that you want for that person to experience when you want them to experience um hurt and shame and guilt and to still be guilty or still feel a certain way about something that they've done either to you or to somebody you know the one thing that i thought about earlier today because i'm always in the shower and i have all these these thoughts and so as i was getting out i thought about you know Forgiveness, I do believe sometimes that it happens over and over and over or it happened or needs to happen again and again and again, because let's think if I, if someone did something to me and it, you know, made me, it affected me in a major way and I've since gotten over it, but let's say I have a new partner and I'm talking to this partner about, you know, what happened to me 10, 20 years ago that partner is going to feel some kind of way. And sometimes they're going to feel some kind of way about that person. And if they have the opportunity of um, connecting with that person or being in the presence of that person, it might affect how they handle or deal with that person. And so forgiveness sometimes is something that is continual. Sometimes it's not even about the person who actually got hurt. Sometimes um, it's the partner who's heard the situation or a friend who's heard about the situation. And they too need to begin to forgive that person for something that they did to their friend or to their partner or to whatever, or, or to understand that that had happened 10 or 20 years ago when we're in a different state of mind. We can understand those, you know, I'm sorry that you, you know, had to go through that and had to deal with that, but doesn't, doesn't allow those feelings to dictate how they feel about the person who actually did the hurt if they have to experience that person in some way, shape, or form. Let me know what you guys think about this whole healing thing, this whole forgiveness um, thing, um, and then the evolution of what that really looks like. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Peace out, people. Have a beautiful day.